Daddy's Dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's Dungeon? Daddy's Dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking Dungeon. All of you! Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> What do you think? Chain out or in? In. I mean, out. Out? Yeah, let everyone know. Loud and proud. You think so? Loud and proud. They won't even know what this is. They'll be like, oh, his hubby is Jimena or some shit like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. No? No. Jimena is spelled with an X? No, I know that. I'm not fucking retarded. I, I am fucking... I'm not that stupid, okay? Well, well people are going to think like, oh, that's his uh, girlfriend's bro. initial, bro. Fucking X, baby. You live by the X. Yeah. X blank X. <laughs> No? Wasn't funny? Whatever, dude. All I cared about this fucking goddamn mustache. We're not started yet, bro. Oh, we're started, brother. What the fuck? We're started, brother. <laughs> we are so started, dude. When did this beard comb come into play? No. Uh, mustache it, comb. No, I've had this for a minute. I, I lose it like every, every, uh, I have it for like a week, and then I'll lose it for a week. And then I'll find it in some pants. So you trimming it up and everything, making it look good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I don't know about making it look good, but I'll trim it up when it gets past. The, I like to keep my lip. Can I tell you something? Nice and your uh, right side. It's longer. It's way longer. I know. That's when you trim it up. I know. I know it's longer. Do I care? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't care. All right. You know what I care about? How 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 often does that make you piss? Like how fast? Uh, I'll be fine, bro. Don't sure. worry. There's nothing to worry about. The only thing you should be fucking worried about is me bouncing off the walls, because that's what this does to me. That's what this does to me. I, I saw I saw a tweet today. <laughs> it's it's from Jiffy, our boy Jeff. Um, I thought it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> He's, he's like on a little road trip right now. He's like, yeah, so far I've jerked off in 17 states. That's fucking sweet. That's fucking awesome. That is fucking awesome. Oh. But <laughs> what I will say is, <laughs> holy fuck, man, this guy is putting in work. <laughs> 17 states, 17 days, 17 nuts. Hey, hey, has he been on the road for know, 17 have, days? No, I have no idea. Okay. But what I really want to know is how long has this man been on the road? Right? I, I think he's only, like, drove from here to Texas. That's it. Right. Okay. So I think this is his all-time... I was just joking about the 17-day shit. I right. think it's only been a few days. Okay, yeah. That's what I... Okay, so I'm wondering. Because typically, going from our experience, right, a 17-hour trip would kind of be done in... Uh, a one-nighter. A one-nighter. Yeah. We're not making any stops, right? But he's, <laughs> he's older, bro. <laughs> We're not making any... Okay, yes, he is older, but to be able to squeeze in 17 nuts <laughs> in a 17-hour span from here to Tejas, that is a, that's a feat all in its own. And he's older, bro, just yeah. like you said. <laughs> that's a little tougher. No, he, he nutted in 17 different states over time. But exactly what I'm saying... He squeezed in 17 nuts in that 17-hour drive. No, if he bro. went, okay, well, how the fuck are you gonna? How do you how are you gonna go through a one state in one hour? I don't know, bro. You, well, well, what the fuck are you talking? You said from here to Texas. Yeah, I'm saying, I made a joke that he nutted in 17 states in 17 days. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I was saying no. He's only been on the road for a few days. He drove from California to Texas. I'm just saying he tweeted that out today, and I thought it was funny. That oh, he didn't his, actually His grand do it. total is 17 states. Not 17 states in 17 hours. That's impossible. That's, not not that's impossible. Literally, unless you're fucking Flash. Not impossible. Unless you're literally the Flash. Not impossible. It can be totally be done. How? Well, it can be done by air. It still, dude, it takes like three hours to get to Sacramento from, from LAX. No, it takes an hour. But it takes like three hours to get to Arizona from the airplane. It can be, dude, choppers are fast, bro. Private jets are fast. I bet you those motherfuckers that have private jets, they be fucking blasting through the sky and into those fucking toilets. <laughs> or, on the, or on the walls. Or on the stalls. Dude, <laughs> like, 
I'm, I, I wonder if his goal is to get all... F- is it 51 or 50 states? I think it's 50. It's, Am I yes, retarded? brother. You're retarded. Okay. It's 50. All 50 states? <laughs> <laughs> um, Puerto Rico is a territory. You know what I mean? Yeah. Here we go again. Lupe fiasco. Like, uh, how many states do you think you've jerked off in? I didn't do it in Kentucky. If I have to think about this... I should have done it in Kentucky. We were there for fucking four days. Give me a minute. Okay. So, one... The thing one. is, I didn't feel comfortable with you there, you know? <laughs> well, I guess I felt really comfortable <laughs> with you there. <laughs> <laughs> no, because, like, I had a feeling you kept wanting to come in there. And I didn't want to see you... I didn't want you to watch me ejaculating, because I feel like you'd open the door right when I'm about to come and go... Oh. Wait, what are you talking about? We in were Kentucky. In the, we were in the same room. Yeah, but I'm talking about if I did it in the shower. Because there was no lock on there. So I was like, oh, if he comes in and uh, I nut at the same time we make eye contact, it'd be a little okay. weird. Okay. Like, yeah, see? Oh, fuck, you, fuck. you chose the wrong place to do it then, brother. Who the fuck you, did you do it? You chose. <laughs> when, when I was asleep? <laughs> I said, I will bust one real quick. No, no, no. <laughs> you chose to do it at your most vulnerable state. Uh huh. I chose to do it at your most vulnerable state. <laughs> You're fucking disgusting. <laughs> what? When what? I was showering? Brother, I knew you were going to be fucking running out. I knew you were going to be running out of there. You had the cover down and everything? It was just me. I don't fucking <laughs> believe you, dog. Hey, believe what you want. I don't care. <laughs> I knew, I'm putting that on the tally mark for one of the states. Oh, my God. Um, California. You know, like, when like when we stopped for, like, take a piss or get gas from them, we should have done it there. Just to, just to get it out the way. I could crank it out quick. Yeah, dude. Totally. Like... But, I've done record times before. It's been pretty quick. The fastest? 30 seconds. I think so. I know so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a guesstimate. Is it accurate, accurate, accurate guess? Um, give or take, 10 no. seconds. Pl- plus or minus 10 seconds? Not minus, because that would be a little intense. <laughs> plus 15 seconds or so. Okay. You know, so like below, uh, below, below a, minute, a minute. Below a minute. That's pretty, pr- that's pretty good. That's that's really good. It's pretty immaculate, <laughs> and that's with yeah. That's that's pretty good. Let's see. I've done it in Arizona, California, Hawaii. Oh fuck, Hawaii! There's another one. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> that's it. That's all I've done it in. I think it's just three for me too. It's a fucking record low, huh? I did in Utah too. Never been. Never been. It was like on the cusp of Las. It was. Uh, it was on the cusp of Las Vegas, like or Nevada. I mean, so, so you close. just pretend this is a territory line. Step in both, and then you do a two and one kill. Two well, I get like phone. a you know like a three sixty no scope. So I get like the cum. I get the cum over two states. Or you're on one side of the line, and then you shoot over it into the other. Okay. Well, there there's That's a there's, there's a place in America one, so. where four states intersect. Right, right. So then I can do the, then I can do the 360 no scope right there on some face some face clan shit. What is it? Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, and one other? No, Nevada is it? Probably. Those uh, those that, four. That, those are close. I think so. I'm pretty sure. See, but if Jeff was smart, he can hit Texas and Oklahoma within an hour because he's he's close to the border. He could knock another one off the list. You know what I'm saying? And is that like is that his goal? I don't know, but 17 states is fucking wild. That is wild. He's done some traveling in his He's lifetime. He's done some fucking traveling. Bro. That's what's up. That's something that I would love to do. Tra- travel travel, the country. And, and just jerk off in different states? Uh, not necessarily. Would you stay in the state that you jerk off in, or are you just jerking off and, ah, I'm out of here. I, I finished. Dumping post-nut it, clarity type shit. Dumping and dipping. That, that's it. That's post-nut my clarity? Mod. Yeah, post-nut clarity. That state, uh, it's not for me. Uh-huh. I'm out of here. Hmm. Go back to California. Just drive straight back. So you're, you're, <laughs> well, I guess you don't have to drive. What do I gonna do? Fucking run? I'm ca- okay. I'm not counting it by doing it in the air. Okay, I'm counting this by why not? You're down on the ground. You're in that state. You're in that state. Come on, now. you're really in the state, though. No? Oh my god. What is this? What is this? Brother. Don't tell me it's Cheetos water. No, 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 it's just a cup. Hello, everyone. I'm back with a bag. Okay. A now, bag of 
surprises. This is a cool cup, by the way. I do like this cup. But... I but put it in the freezer. It's a little slushified. I, I will say something, though. Um, yes, sir. Y- you had brought up... How many times does that make you... Uh, how fast does that make you go pee? Yeah. This is definitely going to make me go piss. Oh, that's having, okay. Having all this. So, I've been seeing this thing go viral on my For You page, and... I just been wanting to try it. No. You know what I'm talking about. No. Yeah. No, I dude. Did. I'm not trying it. You have no. to fucking try it, bro. I know what it is. You're not doing this to me. You're not doing this to me. Don't even pull it out. Don't even pull it out. Oh, what? Wait, what'd you think it was? Oh, I did not think it was that at all. <laughs> what'd you think it was? <laughs> Holy, lo- what is this mixture, brother? What? Yes, bro. Okay, well, what I thought it was, um, I thought it was pickle Dr. Pepper. Oh, fuck no. I thought dog. you were going to do that to me. Nah, dog. What is this, though? It's Diet Coke, and you dump in a whole fucking vanilla protein. It's supposed to taste dank as fuck. Everyone's like, that's 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10. Okay, well... But I don't know if they're just saying it for views. You know what I'm saying? So, now we're saying it for views. <laughs> we're gonna try it. But I heard the one that has the 42 grams tastes better, but they didn't have it. Like the ultimate fucking one? The ultimate fair life protein? Ultimate protein? Yeah, it's 42 grams instead of 26. It's supposed to taste better. Like I said, your soda is a little slushied. Dump the whole thing. You gotta shake it up first. And don't you think? Don't you think this this has been watered down a little bit? Oh, you put that's it in why the I threw it now. in the freezer, that's bro. That's right. That's right. Let's try it first. I can't even get this stupid fucking cup open. It it's it, it's it's holding up. Dude, I don't. This is gonna. Oh my! I think the fattest shit in the fucking world already. This is totally gonna <laughs> put me over the edge. <laughs> You, you were able to fit the whole thing in there? Uh, not all of it. But I'm gonna mix it. See, that's kind of like... Okay, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna take, I'm gonna take a sip of the soda. You should take more than a sip. It, it's, it overflowed. And the thing was, I was like, uh, eh, I think I can add a little more. Ooh, that soda's nice. Dude, it's slushy, brother. It's that nice. That soda's nice. It, it gives me horchata vibes. Yo, I don't know if my stomach's gonna handle this, bro. Jeez, I've been holding this poop all day. I've had to go tremendously. I just drank the last little bit. I've had to take the biggest dookie all day. And uh, I, I just don't like going out at in the, those at porta the potties, yeah. you know what I mean? You gotta mix that hoe up too, baby. I don't like going in those porta potties. That was perfect. I took the perfect amount of soda away from the cup. I should have done the same thing. Perfect. Perfect. Damn, dude. You know, you gotta do that fucking, that stab thing you showed me. Get it all mixed up in it. Fuck, I'm spilling everywhere, dog. Are you excited? For this? Yeah. Not really. (laughs) I'm very caught off guard. Very caught off guard. I I know you fucking hate Piccolo. I'd never do that to you. Uh... Are you sure? Yeah. Very caught off guard. What do you think I should order at Texas uh, Roadhouse? I think you should get a nice, big, fat, juicy fucking steak. Not ribs? Hell no. Nah. Or pulled pork sandwich. Nah. That shit always fire. That shit is always fire. Have you tried yours yet? No. You're waiting for me? I'm waiting for you. I feel like mine's not properly mixed. Get up in there, baby. You're only at the tip of the iceberg. What's heavier? Milk? Or soda. You mean dense? Density. Milk. So milk sits lower than the soda? So milk is going to be at the bottom? It's brother, I don't know. I did the density project in elementary school for the yeah, science fair. Yeah, fucking failed. I did not fail, you piece of shit. I did not. But I definitely didn't get a ribbon. <laughs> you ready? Uh, yeah, sure. I don't know who's giving this a fucking 11 out of 10. It's not bad, but it's not fucking 11 out of 10. Who the fuck gave that? They're a bunch of cappers, bro. Hold on, hold on. Let me try it again. Let me try it again. They're probably sponsored by Fairlife is what it is. Yo, that's good, though. I like it. Yeah, but it. it's not 11 out of 10. That's good, though. I'd say it's like an 8. Yeah, it's not I'm gonna 11 go out seven, of 10. I'm going to go 7.7. Yo, that shit. Okay. See? And, and I... They're capping. That would hit with some tacos. This? Yeah. 
vibes. It's giving me horchata vibes. Major horchata vibes. Except it's a tad bit carbonated. I feel like the I feel like the Fish. milk kinda kinda softens up the carbonation a bit, so it's not as harsh, you know? Yeah. And it's giving more horchata vibes. Okay, let me know if this is fucked up. So I I, I went to go get ice and I go and I go, what the fuck? One's got the goaded ice and then one's got that fucking regular cubed ice. I dumped that bitch out right away. Why is it fucked up? Fuck that shit. But why is it I fucked up? I feel like up? it's like a waste of ice. Ah, uh, uh, you know what, man? I've been seeing a lot of videos. Of ice machines? Of ice machines. Dude, fuck that. <laughs> Don't, why are you reminding me of that shit? I live in a dangerous world. I live in a dangerous <laughs> world. <laughs> I don't care. I see people saying like, oh yeah, I, I order my drinks, no ice. Well, have you seen the guy that cleans them? Right? Yeah, I have seen, I have seen that guy. Terrifying. Um, but I live in a dangerous world and I'm not going to shy away from a bit of mold. You know what I'm saying? I've dealt with dirtier things yeah, in my life. we drink it every day. Our body's used to it by now. And you know what? Our body probably has built some type of defense mechanism, defense mechanism against it. Do you think so? Oh, brother, I... I can almost guarantee it. Because the mold in there, you think people would be getting sick out, out there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure people have gotten sick when they first started drinking from the first place that yep. was, like, real heavily contaminated. But then... Let me ask you this. Our body fucking leveled up. To a Power Ranger? Yeah. Mighty and, morphed. And, like, mighty morphed and fuck that bitch up. Okay. You worked at KFC. Yeah. You, you, you worked late nights. Yeah. Did you ever clean the ice machine? I didn't even know it had to be cleaned. I thought... <laughs> when I worked at Subway, I closed for two years, bro. I never cleaned that fucking ice machine. Uh, I only took the tabs off. Did you take the tabs off of the soda maker? Hell no. Dog. Hell no, dude. We bro, never... You're, you're supposed we to take them out did that and you're shit. supposed to leave in sand. We never did that shit. I'm never going there again. We never did that That's, shit. That's... You know what, dude? It works because that Subway, though, bro, for real. We live in a dangerous world, brother. Damn this Subway, dog. That's the shit that made me real Subway fast. is fucking whack. Dude, it's because you're making the sandwich wrong, dog. Subway, I am definitely... Subway used to be good. I'm not making the sandwich wrong. Subway used to be so fucking good. When's the last Sub time you had it? Subway had its When's peak. When's the last time you had it? Let me speak here, When's the last bro. time you had it? Subway had its peak, I want to say roughly around... 2008? <laughs> $5 foot long? Two, yeah, you know what? 2008 <laughs> to 2012. Oh, my God. That was its peak. You know? Before Jared got taken down... That was its fucking oh my peak. God. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> dude, who knows what happened? It just. Yeah, when's the last time you had it? Last time I had it, a sandwich made from my own imagination. Uh, I'd probably say like 2016. That's the, the last time I had it was like about 2018. No, I mean, I've had sandwiches. I've had Subway as well, but if, from someone else's... Okay, so what, what, what's your go-to? Okay, my go-to... Talk to me, brother. I was a fucking master classman. My go-to was always flatbread. This is... See? That, sh that shit was good as hell. You're already fucking up. No, bro. That shit was so good. You're gonna go to Subway and get a flatbread. Yeah, motherfucker. Hey, let me get a wrap. Get the fuck out of here. That's not a wrap, bro. Continue. You know what a flatbread is. Yes, like a pita. Like yes, a pita yes, type, yes, okay? Yes, yes, yes. They are good though. So have I, you had the breakfast ones with that? Uh, never, brother. That's something you gotta try. But I'd get the flatbread, um, always turkey, pepper jack cheese, lettuce, tomato, the whole concoction. You know what I'm saying? Lettuce, tomato, onions, whatever. Um, Peños, mayo, extra bacon. That's it. That's it. Not toasted or anything? Uh, I'd get that bitch toasted absolutely, and put that bitch in for a little extra time too. I like them it's just crispy, motherfucker. All right, you, you want to know the master classman fucking one? What's the master classman fucking all right, one? All right, all right, You get the Italian urban cheese bread. You hollow out the bread, okay? Right? And then you get chicken, and you put bacon and then pepper jack on top of it, and you throw just that in the oven, just the, just the chicken, the bacon, the cheese, okay? All right? And then while that's going, you get spinach, onions, green peppers, jalapenos, and olives if you like. You throw a little bit of olive oil on that shit with some oregano, salt and pepper. And then you put the chicken back on. More cheese. And you throw that bitch in the oven. All of that. Extra toasted. Then you get fucking chipotle sauce on that motherfucker. You get some chipotle sauce on that motherfucker. Oh my god. That's the sando right there. See, Subway was advertised as a healthy option. It's not. I gained like 250 pounds <laughs> with that shit. <laughs> this man is living proof. Yeah, brother. 
that. <laughs> it is not. Okay, honestly, and I see why they closed down in our area. Why? Because that manager, she's like, oh, you can take whatever you want home. Oh, she take like six, seven sandwiches home a day for her whole family. So I'm like, hey, that bitch taking six, seven sandwiches. I'm taking six, seven sandwiches. So tell me why KFC ain't closed yet. Chicken's cheaper than a sandwich. You know the you know it's actually the, cap. You know the amount of stuff that would be given away from that KFC at the end of the night. Well, that's the end of the night. They're not a like they're you, you can't keep it. Of course, they're gonna give it away. No, 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 no. They wouldn't. They would. They typically like uh, the chicken would be would be shredded and used at at a later date. Right? Uh, so they use like in the bowl or something. Hot pies, right? You make those fresh. Uh, yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah, they may, yeah. See, that's something I gotta try. I like me a good pot pie. Yeah, they, 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 they made those pretty damn fresh. Except for that Lazy Dog. It was way too fucking big and too much of one flavor. I mean, first of all, you made, that was your first mistake. The lady a, was like, picking a pot pie. I was like, what do you recommend? I don't know what to get. She's like, oh my god. Our pot pie is just so good. It's the back and bash yet. And I was like, lady, okay, I'm gonna get it. You fucking, you sold me. They don't even have freezers there. That's how fresh their food is. That's what she said. It was. They odd. have freezers. They have fridges. Oh, okay, you know what? You're right. That's right. Subway has freezers. Always frozen, never fresh. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a little frozen though. Nah, but now I feel. See, I feel like this is why you would go back to Subway. They have foot long cookies now. Yeah. See, what the fuck? Made is, to order. Or, what's the point of that? Or a foot long churro or anything. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you would love that. Or I mean, pretzel. Yeah. See, the thing is, I would love a bite or two. Then I'm just like, oh, I have another fucking ten inches of this shit. <laughs> two God inches is a, is a lot. It's that's as deep as my throat goes. You know what I'm saying? Two inches is it's is that's massive. that's big. It's massive. It's fucking huge. <laughs> I made that joke the other day. <laughs> they didn't understand. They had like this this thing on the table, and it was like a calipers and shit like that for measuring. And then they had like these little. They kept getting bigger and bigger. I was like, "What is that for?" And then they were like, "Oh, this is for measuring stuff." I was like, "Dude, that two inches is fucking massive." They're like, "Huh?" Wait, what are you talking to the certain the little circle thing? Yeah, no, it's a, it's not a circle. They're like little rectangle steel bars, and they kept getting bigger and bigger. Oh, okay. And then when it got to the two inch, I was like, "That's fucking huge." And no one laughed. And I was like, damn. They're like, it's two inches, bro. And I was like, oh, fuck. Man. Those motherfuckers were packing. That's what it was. Two inch pincher, baby. They were packing. Yeah, they didn't laugh at my joke. I'm not funny. I'm not funny. You know, I think you are funny. I think you're very funny. I called out a Dodger fan today. They're like, oh, do you watch baseball? I was like, yeah, a little bit. And they're like, who do you like, the Angels? And I was like, yeah. She was like, oh, put up Dodgers. And I was like, who's your first baseman, dog? Put up pinche Dodgers. 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 And they got all but her because they couldn't tell me their first baseman. And I was like, who's the best player on the team? They're like, oh, the, the pinche Chino. And I was like, you can't even tell me Shohei Otani, bro. You're the you're a big Dodger fan. Can't you tell me Shohei Otani? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking shitting me? See, but... Even the, you know Shohei Otani. Okay, yes. But the Dodgers... It's it's one of those things where um, it, it it has a fan base that it's so big and so widespread that it's gonna fucking catch a bunch of fish that don't know what the fuck about it. It's kind of like a, a Yankees or like a yeah. Lakers. Yeah, uh, it's, I totally it's agree. such a big organization. Yeah. Worldwide known. You get what I'm like saying? Jeter made it known, Kobe, all that. Yeah, I, I agree. One of those things, like for example, uh, Cincinnati Reds, it's not like that. You see a Reds fan, more than likely, they know their first fucking baseman. Or you see any other. Pirates. A, any other team that's not a real big fucking market of a team. I like the Pirates jerseys. They're like a yellow and black. They're dope. Yeah, those are hard. Those, those are, are to totally hard. I, their logo is fire, too. Their logo is hella fire. Um. But do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's like that for every fucking, every sport, every sport. Take it to football. Raiders. Oh, God, the worst. Right? Ra I'd probably say Raiders is number one. Raiders, Cowboys, and who else? Give me some others. That, that's a, that, those are probably the two biggest that you see here in California. Yeah, well, that we see here. But, yeah, like, yeah. Um, which ones would you say are, are in the East Coast? I can't Chiefs. really... 
Chiefs are okay. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so now, right? But Raiders and Cowboys has been a thing for since I was ever, a kid. Yeah. Since I can fucking remember, right? And you go up to any fool that's wearing a fucking Raiders hat or a Raiders shirt. Hey, bro, who's your fucking defensive tackle? <clears throat> I'll walk. Oh, at that show that we went to, the big ass truck show. Shout out. Uh, Excuse me. Um, wear my Christian Barmore jersey. Right. Okay? No one knows who Christian Barmore is. Okay. He's not that guy that's gonna get all the highlight tapes. He's not or, the X Factor superstar. No. Well, on our team he is. Okay. In my opinion. Defensive tackle, big boy, second round pick out of Alabama. You know what I'm saying? Big boy. I love him. I'm wearing a Barmore jersey, and this guy comes up to me, and he's like, he's like, yo, sick jersey, bro. I like Christian Barmore. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, he knows who he is. He's like, go Pats. I was like, oh <laughs> fucking suck him up right there, dude. Fucking fully sucked him up. But yeah, it was cool. It's cool that someone knew who that was. That's how I knew I was a real fan. That's the that's the living embodiment of that picture with uh, Ap- Apollo Creed and Arnold Schwarzenegger. The arms. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with the buff ass arms. Yeah, so it was really, he was black too. R.I.P. Apollo Creed. He was he was he was a black man. It would have been perfect. We should have we should have recreated that. You should have. You should have. But yeah, it was cool to see that someone knew the jersey I was wearing. Because my jersey doesn't say Patriots on it at all. Have you looked at it? Yeah, it looks like a Bills jersey. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fuck you. Um, I'm going to take this fucking shirt off right now. You said that shit. <laughs> Shout out Mark for Death. Fucking Victor, man. Sick ass fools. Bitch, I'm on, man. Liking the Bills and shit, man. Fuck. Got a rap problem? Call Mark 444 Death. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was cool. It was cool. Do you think people think I'm a Bills fan when mm-hmm. I wear that shit? Um, uh, some people probably. Oh well, they're fucking retarded. You know. They I'm could, a fan of Josh Allen. They could pass on me because he's been my he's been my fantasy quarterback for three years now. They you know could pass. They could, they could pass on me. What's pissing me off for Josh Allen, bro? I'll get like forty points one game. The next week, I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, he's gonna give me another forty. Hey man, six. Hey man, we're not fucking robots. Humans are not robots. All right. I tell you what though, he ain't got no turnovers. Humans are not robots. You cannot expect perfection day after day after day after day. Okay, let me ask you this about the refs and Patrick Mahomes. But Have you seen anything about that? They fucking love glazing him. That's Chris Collinsworth. They love that shit. I, I love when the memes come out and that guy is like comparing Mahomes to somebody else. And like, bro, he's not even in this game. Like, shut the fuck up about him already. He's like, oh, that was so like Patrick Mahomes-esque. It's like, bro, shut up. Shut up. Okay. Anyways, um, did you see what he did to his fucking wide receiver? Who, Patrick Mahomes? Uh-huh. What did he do? He threw an interception, and everyone's going to get the ball, and he's running down the sideline. Dove way too early, completely went right to his receiver's knee. Whoong! Backwards. Oh, is that hyperextended? Hyperextended. Yeah. Whoom! Backwards out. Oh. IR. That's his star receiver, bro. Hyperextension. That's insane. Anyways, for my fantasy sake, I'm hoping Amari Cooper does get traded to the Chiefs and just fucking dominates with a fucking good quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Not with that fucking molester. Molester massager. Did he? Him too. But uh, Deshaun Watson. He's a molester massager? Yeah, bro. What's up with him? He missed the whole season because of that shit. Someone like... Someone like... uh, He was going to the Mama-sans? The what? The Mama-sans. uh, The... The masseuse? The same as the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was going to the masseuses, and he said on all of them but one. You know? Oh, I remember you telling me something yeah, yeah, about yeah. that. So this was like two years ago. Yeah, I remember you mentioning that pretty recently, actually. But bro was like a great fucking fantasy quarterback. Great. Like, amazing. And all of a sudden, he's fucking doo-doo cheeks. Like, what the fuck happened? What the fuck happened? You go to the Browns, just instantly become doo-doo cheeks? Is that what happens when you go there? Well, I mean... You, you're, you're, you're on a team that's called the Cleveland Browns. The Cleveland shits, for all I the know. The Cleveland shits. So, I mean, you go there, you become... Shit. Shit. It's the living embodiment of, 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 of the team. You, know, I, you, you, ever, you ever thought about that? Huh? Yeah, we're, like, what is a Cleveland Brown? A what's, Cle- what's, a pick, what's a Pittsburgh Steeler? A Pittsburgh Steeler? Um, I would imagine it's a man that works at a steel mill. 
They got that out there in Pittsburgh like that? Uh, probably. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Okay. What? Okay. What's other world? What's What's other weird names? What's in Oklahoma City Thunder? Well, they have thunderstorms there, so that makes that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Like a what's New a England? Laker, bro? Yeah. There you go. What the fuck's a What's a Laker? What 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 are these guys in L.A. dodging, bro? For real? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Dodging their baby mama? Huh? <laughs> Dodging that child support? Okay, and then another question. Why do you think it is that so many professional athletes are abusers of their females? So many? But there's a lot, brother. It, it's a lot. Personally, I don't know of many. I, I've only heard of a few here and there. Um, but then again, I'm not into that whole medium like that, you mm-hmm. know. Um, but I would say, I don't know. I really don't know. It's probably some type of superiority complex, you know. And um, being fucking yelled at by their coach all day and night. Yeah. You know, and like giving orders. They kind of want to be the one in control, especially if they're not like the superstar of the team. Because Pat Mahomes, you don't, you don't, you don't be hearing bad shit about him. He's, a, he's calm, cool, and collected, brother. Tom Brady, you don't be hearing that shit about him. Divorce. He never beat the shit out of her, though. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But these super high-profile guys, right? These S-tier elite guys. Kobe Bryant, when did you ever hear he was fucking beating on her? All right, he raped somebody. But not his wife. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying that it's okay because it absolutely is not. Okay, but I'm glad we made that clear. Yeah, it's <laughs> absolutely not okay. Um, but Kobe, uh, that that's a sick and twisted mind right there. You know what I'm saying? Because of the way that he was with his teammates, right? Oh yeah. Like that, That's a that's a that's a different breed. That's a, that's a totally different mindset. That's some Michael Jordan shit, too. Totally different mindset. If people don't know who we're talking about, like he's like he's like Michael Jordan, but better. <laughs> Who's better, Kobe or Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan. <laughs> Michael Jordan, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Michael Jordan, I would say, is absolutely better. Teams had to develop a fucking rule book to play against him. No, that's Kareem, dog. No, that's, that's Kareem. No, that was from Michael Jordan. They changed. They changed. They literally changed rules because of Kareem. But my they literally. So the Detroit Pistons literally had a rule book that they were called the Jordan rules. Jesus Christ! For when they played against Michael Jordan, beat the shit out of him because they couldn't beat him. They could not fucking beat him. L. You know. L. Shout out Isaiah Thomas though, for real. L. The whole L. team was a walking L. Well, they won. They eventually won. They got two chips. So. Did you, do you miss that type of basketball? I, I do. I do. You know, players in all fucking sports, they're all a bunch of softies. They're all a bunch of bitches. Yeah, you right? never heard about no ACL concussion protocol type shit back then? Well, injuries is one thing. That's a completely <laughs> different thing. But, like, dude, flopping? Gay. Um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Totally. That's the wackest thing ever. LeBron is like, what, 6'10 or something like that? 6'8? Six, 6'8, eight? Six, eight, bro. Like 280? Dude, I need... You touch him like this. Oh, fuck! I need the roughest, toughest shit out there on the court. Especially from LeBron. And I, 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 need, I need these refs uh, to fucking hold their breath a little bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, they got like a trigger finger on that fucking on that flag, you know what I'm saying? <gasps> They're or not. quick with it. See, and I'm thinking of the whistle. I'm not thinking of the flag. I'm thinking of the fucking whistle. They, they, hand in hand, you know what I'm saying? Right? Football. Fuck, man. Like, I, all of these sports. Oh, Real my quick. God. Don't even get me started on soccer, bro. Jeez. Hey, you can say all you want about Messi, dog, but that motherfucker never flop. That is the worst. Flopping in soccer is the worst. Look up any highlight reel of Messi, and you're going to see him just completely body people. He used his... He used his short legs his, his center of gravity. as a center of gravity to where he didn't have to flop. He can just fucking run through them. They'd hold on to him and shit. He'd just run right through them. But still, I mean... Neymar. Of course. Worst. Of course there are those... Uh, how, do you, how do you say... There are those exceptions, right? Yes. That, that don't flop. That, yeah. That... Try and be rough and tough about it. Yeah, but it. that's that's a, such a small percentage. It's such a small percentage, right? 
Um, and and we'll just say Messi is one of those, right? But I, I just we need to get get it back to the to the to the goodness of the sport. You know what I'm saying? To beating the fuck out of people, <clears throat> right? Like Bill Lambier. Yeah. Right. I loved Bill Lambier. He was a terrible person, not terrible person, right? But on the court, he was a terrible person. But I mean, he did whatever it took to win. You know what I'm saying? I, and 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 yeah. personally, I am not a Draymond Green hater. I am a mega fat hater. Although although he does do some outlandish type shit like kicking people in the nuts, that's a little crazy. Or how about like when they're on the floor, he steps on their head. But um, no, dude, Bill Lambier would do some shit like that. No. Nah. Yeah, yeah. If you jumped in front of Bill Lambier, he'll slide his foot under you, so yeah. you can roll your ankle. Yeah. You know, and um, it's just shit like that, dude. Like, there's not people like that anymore. Like, there's this, uh, there's this old NFL intro showing a bunch of tackles. I think it's like around like the Bo Jackson days, and they said every single tackle on that and that intro is a flag. Now, every single one is a flag. Fucking gnarly hits. Sean Taylor, has you ever seen Sean Taylor? Never. That's probably the hardest hitter ever. And I would even imagine that back in those times, it was, um, dudes were a lot more fucking, like, well, obviously, athletes have gotten better, mm -hmm. right? And they, they're reaching new heights. But for some reason, I don't know what it is. They just look like men. There was just something about them that made me think that they were just fucking complete different animals than the athletes today and I, I had a thought about that same thing this was like from the 70s or something like that and it was showing this guy in the bear stadium he jumped over because the, the field goal went over the net and he jumped into the, like the you know the, the tunnel it was like 15 feet or something and he caught it midair and landed he's like I'm fine and he looks like a 40 year old man and he goes oh I'm a junior in high school. I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Bro looks 40. I swear to God. I gotta show you, brother. This man looked 40. Like, bro, let me tell you this. How, nowadays, when do you get a player... I look like I'm fucking 12. That's nicknamed the fucking fridge. That's what they call my brother in high school. You know? When do you, when do you get a player like that nowadays? Never. 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 They, they're not. See, the thing is, they're not built like that anymore. They just compare players. Like, oh, he's kind of like me and Joe Green. Yeah. Me and Joe Green. Yeah. You don't get that anymore. Then, then now you have Hawk Tua Taivagalua or whatever his oh name is. Oh my god. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Hawk Tua Taiv. What's his fucking last name? Tua. Taivagalua, some shit like that. Hawk Tua Taigalova. Yeah. I don't know, man. I hope he gets better. You know, because R.A.P., man, you got to stop playing, brother. Dude, he said he still wants to play. What a fucking idiot. Bro, he already got the contract. Just fucking... You can... Just can't take the guarantees, bro. <laughs> Whatever, like, I'm sure it's at least $40 million guaranteed. You're set. He's set for life, brother. He's set for life. Donate to a couple charities, you know. Get them taxes written off. Go buy some land out in fucking some whatever state you want to go. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Pay it off. Just live there rich as fuck for life. You don't well, even need forty million. Yeah, no. You, you, Think about how fucking crazy sick rich the owner is. You know what I'm saying? How many of the fucking Dolphins? of just any professional team in the whole world? Mainly okay. like football, you know, because there's no cap, there's no salary, there's no, uh, you know, there's no max contract like in basketball. Right, right, right. So it's like, oh, we just paid CeeDee Lamb like 186 million, right? And then Dak Prescott, and the, they're both in the Cowboys. He also just got a contract. He also just got paid hundreds of millions. Guarantees, too. You know? And then you got to pay 51 other players on the team. However much XYZ it is, it's still millions and millions oh, of dollars. Yeah. That's and then insane. you got to pay all the staff. They're getting to the billions. Oh, show at least. Yeah. Jerry Jones? He comes from oil money. Uh. That's, that's money. I need me some of that, that oil money, you know what I'm saying? Did it get really loud in here? No. I'm fucking wired right now. That coffee got me. The coffee, the coffee soda combo? The, no, the coffee got me cranked. 
What's going through your mind right now? What's going through my mind right now? My eyes are fucking ping. <laughs> <laughs> no, not, no thoughts. Just no hate. thoughts. Just hate. No thoughts whatsoever. What do you think about that show? That was a great show. Yeah. I thought it was a great show. Uh, I thought it was um, extremely happy for Big Ass Truck and everything that they're doing. Because not only are all those dudes fucking awesome, right? They make some dope ass music and um, they um, they just, they're putting on. I was going to say, Andres is probably the best or not Oh I've ever yeah, seen. brother! You ever you, did you watch him at all, or you were just watching fucking Abel? Bro, no, I did. I he's did. smooth with it. I'm like, oh my god, he is super smooth with it. Not oh only god. that, bro. I mean, he 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 grinds, bro. Oh yeah, he grinds. He's probably like in 18 fucking active bands as we speak. Who knows, man? <laughs> 18 and counting, <laughs> right? But um, he, he he's put in work, and not only that, but the stuff he does with five seven. Uh, five seven booking. Unreal. It's, it's yeah, it's, it's awesome, dude. It's sick. And uh, it, it's crazy that we have something like this in our vicinity in our reach, you know. But I mean, David was absolutely right from auditory anguish. Oh he, yeah. He said like, if it's like this, for this show, as packed as it was, it should be like that for every local every game. local show. How often do you see me there on a Monday? I'm there, brother. Granted, I don't, I'm not at every one. Right. I know. I'm not at every one. We got lives, brothers. But you at that show, you saw a lot of people that that was like their their one off show. You know what I mean? And it, it's unfortunate. There, there was a guy there that uh, that I saw, and I said we went to high school with that guy. And I thought he had the same name as me. It wasn't. I found out who it was. Mm -hmm. And he's actually in a band. They're going on tour. That's fucking sweet. It's not hardcore. It's it's something else. It's not my cup of tea, but um, it's a, it's a four piece. It's a four piece. Two guitars, one bass, drummer, singers is one of the guitars. But they're doing the damn thing. They're doing the damn thing. That's awesome. They're going from here. They're going up Seattle, back down to like Arizona and shit. Yeah. And, and it's all back. and it's all DIY. All DIY. See, that's fucking sweet. That is fucking sweet. And I didn't know that because I, I really went on the mission to go find them. Because whether it be hardcore, shoegaze, alternative, whatever it be, it's something heavy. It, it, if it's DIY. Salutes. If See, you're doing it, salutes. And it happened again, and I just... It made me upset, brother. What? Like, when people are moshing, and then there's someone doing... Or they're pushing them, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they don't understand. That's what pisses me off. And also, not taking care of the spot, man. Yeah, the fucking trash can, dude. Whoever fucked through the trash can, man, fuck you. For one, it's fucked up. Two, you got that disgusting... Water all over me. Oh, on my arm, but still disgusting. You know? And it's fucked up. Threw it right at the chandelier. I mean, I'm sure he didn't know where he was throwing it, but still, like, if, if you're putting the spot in jeopardy. No provoke song is, is necessary for that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Go beat some ass. Yeah. Punch your friend. Right? Yeah. Punch your friend. Don't fuck up the chandelier. No, the thing, was, the thing that was fucked up was he was... Uh, oh, you were there. You were behind me, right? Yeah. He walked up from behind you to go do that. Like, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's different if you're already in the pit, you know, getting fucking... Getting thirsty again, right? And you're like, oh, I'm gonna go out and grab the trash can. That's different to me. <laughs> I don't think you should have grabbed the trash can at all. But, yeah. I think... I Okay, I think... If... If you're going to grab the trash can and throw it as recklessly as that person did, one, they got to take in consideration that spot is not owned by a, a, a local DIY person. You know what I mean? It's owned by a group of people that are not in the scene. Yeah, they, they host shows and everything, but it's not somebody embedded in the scene that is going to be okay with it, right? So if you continue these fucking shenanigans... They're going to fucking shut it down. You keep, you keep fucking shit up, right? Um, eventually, it, people will get tired. And uh, they'll, they'll, they'll no longer let you host your fucking shows there. And that's sad. It is sad. It's really fucking sad. Yeah, it is really sad. Because um, we don't... There's not many spots that do shows every single day, pretty much. You know? Yeah, yeah. Not, I mean, not every not every weekend like that spot does. Yeah, you know. 
And that's a legendary spot too. Like, why would we want that taken away from us? Why did it change from I'm, Aladdin I'm Jr. Sure was, to? I'm sure it was just a change of ownership. But they still got that pizza shit on top. Oh, the the place next door. Oh, is that what that was? It's they're like embedded together. Well, those doors that just yes, open yes, blatantly. Yes. Yeah, they go into that spot. But that what's in there? Just nothing. I think it's just vacant. I've never seen it open. What they need to do is bust them walls down, make that room bigger. That'd be dope. Or have it open for business. Yes, bro. Just like you were saying. Yeah. What I was saying was is that they need to take advantage and make that shit to a restaurant during the day hours. You know, some sli- like a pizza spot's easy, bro. I don't think it's that hard. You know, sell slices only. You know, sell by the slice. Come up, get some pizza. Go to go and drink a hardcore show. Whatever they got to do. You know what I'm saying? Whatever they got to do. It'll give them a little more revenue. It'll get people, and then I'm sure the hardcore scene's definitely gonna go. You know, support the spot. Well, not o- not only the hardcore scene, because it's not only hardcore shows they host there. Right? They have a lot of different stuff that they do there. So I'm sure everybody from everybody All. that's walking through that door, there's gonna be some percentage of it that's pouring over into that spot. Dude, imagine that'd be dank, bro. It would be dank. After a show, we got some fucking pizza right there. That'd be. Don't dank. gotta drive nowhere. It's right there. What do you think about that Del Taco? That Del Taco was fucking smacking, dude. How was your tummy after? My tummy was fine. I took three shits at work the next day. Wow, it see? was bad. Okay, it doesn't have me like that. It was that. good though. It was good. It was good. It doesn't. Oh, it doesn't have me like that. But uh, typically, like it'll it'll accumulate overnight, and then it'll be one fucking jaganama shit in the middle of the day or so. Yeah, I woke or like up. when I get home from work. That's when it'll be fucking knocking on the door, ready to burst out. <laughs> I woke up, took a, took a nice shit, and then I got to work. And I wasn't at work for maybe more than like 30 minutes. I was like, oh my God, I got to go again? And I go, and I was like, oh shit, that was a fucking big ass shit. And then like, the day was almost over and I had to go again. And I was like, holy fuck. No come on the stalls? No. Damn. That's still crazy to me. You gotta be really down bad. Or on a sick one. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get back to the, the football thing real quick. Do you know who Rishi Rice is? Rishi Rice? He plays on the Chiefs. Only Rice I know is Ray. Woman beater. <laughs> <laughs> back to the musing. Okay, no, but uh, Rishi Rice, he was going 120 midday. Drunk. Completely demolished somebody's car. And just fled the scene. Okay. Didn't get any jail time or anything, which I think is fucked up. If, if it was an average Joe that did that, they'd be in jail right now. Yeah, felony. 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 And he's felony. playing football. Yeah. Anyways, bro's making bucks, right? Bro's rich. His mom, and it's confirmed his mom, because it says Rishi's mom on the back of her jersey, was walking to the hotel and saw a package. But they didn't know this was somebody's, like, famous as package, you know what I'm saying? And she fucking stole it. And it's on camera and everything. What? <laughs> what the fuck is she doing? Your son is rich. Ask Rishi. Oh, baby Rishi, can you buy me this, please? She didn't know what it is. It's just a fucking package. So she walks by. You, sh- you see her look at it. She walks back. And she lo- looks around, looks around. And just walks. He's walking. Okay, so you said it. She didn't know it was a famous person's package. So no. whose was it? I forgot. I didn't know the name, but people were making it. Like, they... If they put the name in the, the caption, it's somebody famous. Pretty popular. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that makes sense. I know it was a, for a records. Something records. Records? Yeah. It was like a record company. Really? Yeah. So they had a fucking camera on the door. They saw her bitch ass. Oh, my God, It's like, God, honey, your dude. son is rich. And the thing is, it's like, your your son's already haven't his... he's He hasn't gone to court yet. It's, it's pushed off. That's why he's still playing. But it's like, your son's going to go to court soon. He's going to be under a lot of media fire, a lot of attention. You're doing that? Yeah, stop putting gas in the fire, dude. What are you doing? It's like some John Moran shit, you know? I just, <laughs> no, what's baffling is why are you stealing a package for one? But, I mean, there <laughs> is such thing as a kleptomaniac. You know is what I'm saying? they like to steal? They're addicted to stealing. Is that what you are? No, 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 no. <laughs> not that at all. I'm not or that at all. Bleep that out. Bleep that out. Um... But uh, some people just need to steal whether they need it or not. Is that a real thing? Yes, absolutely. No fucking way. 100% it's a thing. 
Have you met somebody like that? Uh, not that I've met somebody like that, but dude, there, there's something like that for everything in this world. Ah, fuck that. Dog, if there are eating disorders... Are you saying that because I'm fat? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. It's the elephant in the room. Yeah. Right? I didn't know that. If there are eating disorders, there is for sure disorders pertaining to that. If there's addictions of every other kind, why can't there be an addiction for that? Yeah, I guess you're right. You can get a rush out of it. Yeah, cause, yeah exactly. I've never stolen some anything. Some people will fucking love the rush. Maybe I should start stealing. And some people steal out of necessity, right? Not saying she did. Some people genuinely steal out of necessity, right? And um, they'd be like that sometimes. I want to steal. I just want to try it. Steal some candy or something. You know? <laughs> Swipe steal, it. steal some candy from a baby. Mine, little fucker. Speaking of babies, it's Halloween, dude. you have so many opportunities. Snatch that fucking pillowcase <laughs> from that little bitch's hands. <laughs> Mine, fucker. Push him over and just start beating the shit out of him with it. That'd be hilarious. Push the stroller over. Yeah. Um... The, the baby's been going to school for a few weeks. Gotcha, bitch. And she knows how to say the ABCs, but she doesn't know, like, the letters yet, so we were doing flashcards and shit. And then she's finally getting it, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, what letter is this? And she knows it. It's fucking cool. It was cool. It was cool to see. But I wasn't getting to that. Some fucking little kid punched her in the face. Oh, bitch-ass kid. Yeah, be like that. We live in a dangerous world. Kid. We live in a dangerous and world. And what you told her was 100% right. Did you hit him back? Did you hit him back? She goes, okay, hold on. Let me stop you there. Let me stop you there. Because that was on, when was that? Tuesday. Yeah. That was on Tuesday, okay? So what happened was, <laughs> I had walked out there. We, I interacted she got with hit the on baby. Monday. Yeah. I interacted with the baby. She told me the situation. And I gave her that reaction. Well, did you hit him back? Right? And um, your girl happened to be there. Okay? And after that whole interaction, I came back. I kept doing my thing. I felt... I felt bad. Why? I felt bad. I didn't know if I said the right thing or not. I, me personally, I think that was the right thing to say. I didn't know if I said the right thing or not, and I didn't want it to come off as like, oh, he's a bad influence. Not in your eyes necessarily, but in her eyes. Oh. You know? No, I agree though, because you got to stand up for yourself, even if you're a girl. Yes, absolutely. Especially to a kid who they said has done this multiple times. Mm -hmm. This kid pushed her over a few weeks ago. We, we do not tolerate any disrespect. Beat the shit out of that kid. We do not tolerate any disrespect. That's what I told her too. I, ho I, I hope a first grader beats the shit out of that kid. I hope she fucking smacks him. I don't think she will. But no, I, I genuinely, that's how I felt. I came back here and I was overthinking. I was oh, running fuck, it. Fuck. I was ru running it through my head. I was like, "Fuck! Did I say the wrong thing? Like, mm -hmm. should I go over and apologize? You know?" I did feel really bad. I felt really fucking bad. No, because I agree with you. Because, who knows? Next thing, next thing you know, she could have gone to school, beat the shit out of that had kid. an altercation with the little fucker, and <laughs> the next thing you know, fingers pointed at me. Well, he, he told her to do that. Who's he? Me. You're never going to know. What's going to happen to you? No, no, no. But nothing, nothing, no. Yeah. It, it, so, I'm not talking about authorities or anything, but, I mean. Me. Considering your situation, there's a baby mama and everything, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, he can't be around her anymore. He's clearly a bad influence, right? You get uh, what I'm saying? That, and so, I was worried about that. You have to go that. to court for that shit, bro. I was worried about that. No, that's all right. You know? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so an older lady said the same thing. She said, oh, yeah, I told, uh, how do you say grandkids in Spanish? Ninientos or some shit? Yeah, yeah. She said, yeah, I told them. Same thing. If they hit you, you hit them back. Yeah, They man. go, okay, grandma. And I, I told my nephews that, too, because they're recently been going to school, right? And they've come home with scratches on their face. Damn, right? They've come home with scratches on their face. And I, I told them, I was like, don't you ever fucking let them, don't you ever let them lay hands on you. Yeah. Right? If they lay hands on you, you fucking make sure you lay hands on them. You gotta do it first. What do you mean? Like, if they're, if they're getting in your face and shit, don't let them hit you first. You hit them first. But I'm talking about if you're older. No, you know no, saying? no. But, I mean, in, th in this situation, like, these are just kids. They're just, uh, I'm sure they're just trying to play around or whatever. But there are some kids that are like, oh, I'm gonna fucking smack this guy. For example, my, my older nephew, his situation. So, he was playing with a train. Okay. Right, of course. Autism. Autism. Yeah, <laughs> autism. And so this kid comes up from behind him Damn. and literally 
goes like that to him. And in that situation, that was just blatant violence, right? And just the way he is, he's he's not going to do it back, yeah. uh-huh. right? But if he lays hands on you like that, get up, turn around, and fuck him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care how old you so are. So did he? Did he? Did he did he? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked. That's fucked. No, no, he didn't. Oh, okay. But again, it's also with the with the younger nephew too, you know? So I get home, he has his gnarly scratches on his face, and then he tells me he's like, Oh, they fucking scratched me. Da da da. Did he say it like that? Yeah, he said fucking and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but but I, I told him I was like Next time they do that shit to you You do it right the fuck back to them Uh huh I think it's right No disrespect is tolerated What'd your mom say about it? Did I she hear you? Oh yeah Yeah Did she disagree? I said it loud and clear They didn't say anything See? Cause it's right They didn't say anything Cause it's right You know It is right What are you gonna do? Fucking let them do it again? Cause it, nothing's gonna change It is right it is right. You need to put a fucking stop to it before it continues because at that point, they're going to think it's okay. Yeah, and then it's on the parents too. They're going to think it's okay. Why the right? fuck are you hitting random kids? And not only that, not only that, it's also the teacher's job to get involved because the kid that fucking attacked my nephew from behind, this is a kid that was notoriously known for fucking Doing get, that. Get, getting involved with other kids like that. So this is the same situation I'm in. Um, not only, yeah. Because so, they said that he's pushed her over before and that he's kicked other kids before. Yeah, and that kid's got some type of beef with my nephew. Like, Is he autistic too? I don't know. I don't know. But, but like my sister told the teacher, like, if you clearly see that he targets him, why don't you keep a closer eye on him? Right? Yeah, dude. Fucking. <sighs> Fucking. Where does this even come from? I don't like it. It makes me sad, you know? It made me sad when I heard that. Hey, hey, it's just it's just the nature of the yeah, whole... Yeah, because what they told me was... It's was, the nature she, of the beast of life. She was just playing right there. She was just playing, doing yeah. her thing on the fucking jungle gym. Goes right up to her to punch her in the face. What I, the fuck, man? It, it's unfortunate. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but it's it's the nature of the beast, baby. You want to know what else hurt me? This one actually made me really sad. So I picked her up from school, right? On uh, Wednesday, yesterday. I left work earlier to go get her from school so I can talk to the principal. And... I pick her up and she says like we're walking and then one of her friends says bye she's like oh bye Angelica I was like oh cool she has a friend and then we're walking and then we get in the car and then she's like dad and I was like yeah and she was like Amelia said she doesn't want to be my friend and I was like damn right? she was sad that was sad well and I told her it's okay sometimes she just wants to play by herself and she's like yeah I know and I was like well Angelica's your friend right and she's like yeah and I was like so you're good and she's like I was like, maybe just don't play with her. It's okay. She was like, okay. But it, she was a little sad at first. That, that, was a little, that was a little sad. I mean, it's the nature of the beast, baby. That was sad. She, I mean... Because I remember, I remember that happened to me, too, in kindergarten. Someone didn't want to be my friend. And that shit sucked. It's valid. It's valid. You know what I'm saying? It, it's valid to be sad and be hurt, I guess. But, I mean, <laughs> it's better that she learns at an early age. Hey, if you don't want me around, I ain't going to be around. Yeah. Right? It's better that she learns that... She does not need to be anywhere. She she isn't wanted. You know what I'm saying? Valid. She, if she isn't wanted there. Valid. Very valid. I'm getting out of here. I'm not putting myself through this. I'm blanking. Something just happened to me. Something just happened. My whole mind was loud and now it's quiet. Like, completely quiet. You see, and I'm, I'm trying to go back to my... My young days, my very very young days. Like I didn't have a problem Whoa. making friends at all or anything, uh-huh. you know. And um, I don't think I ever really got into any altercations like that when I was a, y- a youngster. I did bite a kid. Why? Well, I was just reenacting a movie scene. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um. But that 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 you didn't mean to hurt him. Did well, you hurt him? I'm. Not. I guess so. It was just, I was reenacting the movie scene. You know what I'm saying? Like, we were playing, then we weren't playing. Did he fight back? No. Bitch made. Do you know him to this day? No. Dude, I can't, I don't know anybody from that far ago. Wow. Nobody. Wow. Let's see. I don't know anybody from before, from before high school. 
Nobody. Mo. Oh, you know what? That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay, that's that's one person. Um, that's like maybe the only person I think you would know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody else from back then. There's, I mean, maybe a couple, a couple, maybe the, two or three. Okay, but I I feel like you talk to Mo more than you would talk to these other people. Yeah, totally. You're 100 percent right. He, he's a he's a meme sender. You know what I'm saying? Oh, absolutely. Hey Mo, if you've been sending me memes, brother, I'm sorry. I just I just ain't been on it. You know what I'm saying? So. I think he has sent me some shit. Maybe I should look. I got a lot of shit to go through. <laughs> a lot of shit. It'd be but, like uh, that, man. It do be like that. It, it's tough out here for me, you know what I'm saying? Like, yes, like today, the whole fucking day, even though we texted about the show and everything, I could have sworn it was Wednesday today. The whole day until about 12 o'clock. Because it, like, it was this girl's birthday today. And someone came up and she said, happy birthday. She said, oh, thank you so much. And then someone gave her balloons and shit. And I was like, dude, your birthday's fucking tomorrow. She's like, no, it's on fucking Thursday. And I was like, huh? She's saying this shit in Spanish. But I was like, no, it's not. It's, it's fucking Wednesday today. She was like, no, it's not. It's fucking Thursday. And she shows me. I was like, what the fuck? I'm, I'm on a completely different day. That's how fucking busy I was yesterday. I was out of it. Busy ass day. Busy ass day. All over the place. That I thought it was fucking Wednesday today. Busy is good. Yeah, in a sense. To an extent. In a sense. Sometimes you just want to chill. You know what I'm saying? No, that's what I told my girl. Because we were, we were sitting there. I put the baby to sleep. And we're just laying in bed, and I just told her, I was like, I feel like I haven't had one second myself today. Not one fucking second. We're master chillers here. Oh, we are yeah. master chillers. <laughs> I didn't have one second to chill yesterday, bro. Not even one. The second we lay down, she was like, oh, can you watch my TikToks? I was like, okay. But there's some people who can't chill. What do you mean? There's some people who, like, need to be on go mode 24-7. You know, like that, that Primerica chick on the phone right now? In order to quiet the, the fucking demons they got inside of them. They got, like, ADHD type shit? You know? Not even that. I mean, maybe they have some fucking PTSD or something. I don't know. I'm sure there's some people that need to do something every single second of the day to keep their mind occupied because the voices in their head will just drive them insane. That's real. It, no, it absolutely That's is real. real. It is. And uh, so Andy yeah, at yeah. work, uh -huh. he is a, a living proof of that. He's got voices in that, his head? That's what, he, that's what he does, dude. He needs to keep himself busy 24-7. He never stops to relax. Do you, do you think he's on, on, on the crack or something? No, 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 no way. Just major dedication. He's edge? Major dedication, yes. No coffee? No, he'd be drinking coffee. Lots of coffee. He'd be drinking coffee. Yeah. Every, every morning he has his coffee, right? But um, that's just major dedication, and um, it just helps. It helps with him. You know, it helps him mentally and, and physically, obviously. Oh, yeah. That's the guy that's super disciplined with all the food and everything? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um... Well, he's also kind of narcissistic, right? He said he has a bunch of photos of himself. He's always looking at him. No, 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 no. That's a little narcissistic. No, no. That, that's what you told me. No, and... Hey, viewers, tap in. If that's not narcissistic, I don't know what it is. He's looking at photos of himself during his break. He's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so what, 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 about, what about all these bodybuilders that be, that be looking themselves in the mirror? Do you not think that the bodybuilders are narcissistic at all? Well, they, they gotta... They need to... They need to critique themselves at all times. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But don't you think they're narcissistic? I bet you more of them... I bet you more of those bodybuilders have a thought that they are less than they actually are. Yeah. Yes, you're totally right. Because that's how they... They talked about that shit on fucking uh, Generation Iron. You, you understand yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? I totally agree. Yeah, I bet you they But have... do you think that they're better than somebody else? Oh, uh, well, that's not being narcissistic. Hmm. Do yeah, they think no, they're yeah. better than, than, than others? Probably. But that's not narcissistic. That's just being confident. Narcissistics were like, you're always right. You're all about yourself. If it's not what I said, it's fucking wrong. Shit like that. I don't know the dictionary definition of it. But um, I'm sure some of them are. But I feel like most of them uh, see and think less of themselves. Yes. That, and that's why they're trying to get bigger. Yes. Yeah, you're and right. Not only that, but obviously to win a competition. Yeah, you're right. You know? Because that's a scary world too, man. That's a scary fucking world as well. I haven't... Even kept up bodybuilding since fucking we were in high school. Me either, but I mean, just think about it, dude. A competition where you have no control. Well, I guess you do, but very little control of of how you're going to be judged. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I wonder how Kai Green's doing. That was my favorite fucking bodybuilder. Yeah, he was insane. I gotta check him out. I don't think I still follow him. Nope. I don't follow any of those those dudes no more. That's a crazy that that's an extreme <laughs> sport right there. Yeah, that's that's pretty crazy. Remember he's had like Machiavelli motivation on all the time. Craziness. All the time. Dude, it works though. Those, that that's it is inspiring yeah. to see that. You yeah. know what I mean? Machiavelli, Machiavelli motivation. And it's all great, bodybuilding. I've, I'm sure I'm sure we've talked about it before, but I don't see steroids in that world as cheating. Well, because everyone everyone does it, right? I see it as taking it to the next level. You know? Because they're still pushing hard. It's not like they're just taking steroids and that's it. No, dude, they're they're not just pushing hard. They're working harder than everybody that is a bodybuilder. Yeah. You know. If, if you're on steroids and you're doing it the right way, you're working harder than every other natural bodybuilder there is. I wouldn't say you're working harder than any natural bodybuilder because I'm sure there's natural bodybuilders that work hard as fuck, just as hard as them. Yes, yes, absolutely. But Than the average person. But if, if, if you're on steroids, you're lifting more weights. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's facts. You're clearly lifting heavier weight. And you have to fuel yourself, which leads to eating more, right? Because like Ronnie Coleman, dude, compare, compare the shit Ronnie Coleman was doing to a natural bodybuilder, right? The same. The same times yeah. fucking who knows how much. Yeah, exactly. Because everything is multiplied. Yeah. Right? So, um, yeah, natural bodybuilders are working extremely hard, but because these steroid filled bodybuilders are taking it to the next level they're they have to clearly, take everything to the next they're level. clearly pushing their body that much more the see the downside to the steroids though is that how much it enlarges your org, enlarges your organs yeah see like and, that. and that's that's a risk all of them are willing to take so what's like trt Oh, that, I don't know. Cuz you know like old men be taking that shit dude i feel like there are so many different types of 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 like, uh, I guess, how would I, how, what's a term I can use to generalize uh, boosters, I guess? What's boosting about it? What do you, what do you mean? Like, just to... There's different types of steroids. And different types of steroids? Okay, yeah, sure. There's a fucking, there's, there's like 20 different types. Stronger. They keep getting stronger. Where, how do you even get testosterone? Where do you get that shit from? Like, what is it, what, like, where do you get it from? I'm sure some people got dealers. No, not that. Like, how was it made? Oh, that show needs to come back. How it's made? Yeah, we gotta get this fucking knowledge into the fucking young kids out here. Dog, dog. If someone needs to post how it made clips on TikTok. How it's made, and I'm sure they do already. But how <laughs> it's made can just replay all the episodes they over have over and over and over, over and over and over. Shows and over. that need to come back. Thousand ways to die. How it's made. Dennis, Dennis Warrior. Warrior. <laughs> That's it. Bring all those shows back on repeat, one after another. How like boom 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 boom, bring them back. Twenty four hours a day, all year round, it'll have views. Spike, Spike, Spike was goaded. And Practical Jokers, uh, they do rerun that shit, but that shit that show is fucking legendary. Spike was goaded. UFC was on Spike, right? Really? I'm pretty sure UFC was on Spike at one point. Jake was just telling me about UFC three right now. They're they're playing it at Smothers. I, I I I'm, I'm pretty sure Spike, used to play UFC. Or used to air UFC. I'm sure they did. Because UFC was kind of like, eh, this is kind of bad. It was kind of edgy. Yeah, there you go. It's like frowned upon a little bit in the, in the like martial arts community. Else that, like everything else that Spike played. <laughs> that was a waste to die on Spike. Deadliest Warrior Spike. At least, I like Netflix, fucking come up with the contract, bro. A Thousand Ways to Die will be number one for at least a month. Oh, yeah, dude. You know how many episodes that John had? I don't Shit. <laughs> Fuck. Hopefully more than a thousand. No, I think... I think it had like 862. Like I'm being for real. And those creators, you got to get creative with this shit. Yeah, because that shit's not real. It's not real. No way. No way. I'm sure some of them are, right? But, I mean, do you really think... um, I don't know. What are the odds you're fucking shoving a carrot in that thing, right? And you stab your internal organs to the point where you're internally bleeding. Can that happen? You stab yourself in the wrong hole? So I, I seen this one episode, one of the first episodes that I ever saw, uh-huh. right? And this lives imprinted into my mind to this day. To this day. Right? So this girl, she was fucking la 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 going through the grocery store and she's just grocery shopping, right? She seen this one fucking hunk across the way. Fuck god damn. 
she was horny. She was liking what she was seeing, okay, right? Okay, okay. This big muscly man in a muscle shirt, whatever. Okay. And uh, he was kind of cute or whatever. And so she, she buys a carrot, one singular carrot, right? She goes home. She takes care of that thing. She starts fucking peeling it, right? She peels it to perfection. But she peels that thing so fucking pointy. When she gets going, she starts fucking herself with the carrot. When she gets going, she impales one of her organs. And dies. And she starts internally bleeding. Holy fuck. To the point where she dies of internal bleeding. This is a, this is a true story. How, 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 I mean, I don't know. No, no, this how story I'm about can, to tell is how true. How true can that be? It's probably very true. Yeah, I can, does, I that, like does it work there, that I way? I feel like there's a lot of shit that goes on in this world where a lot of this shit's very true. Yeah? Yeah, so this was a girl that I knew. I don't even remember her name. I remember it was actually her older sister. She had to go to the hospital because she had a hot dog stuck in her vagina. Okay. It broke. Okay, that's fair. But she didn't die, but I'm saying, you know, people doing that. Yeah, people doing that. And I, I've also seen videos of, like, of people getting uh, these ginormous fucking dildos removed from from their uh, abdomen. Because they shove it in their ass. And it fucking gets sucked yeah. in there, and yeah. it gets stuck. So they get these things surgically removed from them, and um, it's like, god damn, dude. That, that can happen? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a little embarrassing. But, I mean, it, is it embarrassing, or is it like fucking, damn, fucking... Brave soldier, that's scary. <laughs> like those girls that be using those 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 dragon ones. You know those dragon dildos. What the fuck are you talking about? You've never seen them? No. Okay. Yes, they're the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. They're, <laughs> they're fucking gnarly. They're fucking gnarly. Okay, they're these. You know those suction cup ones, right? <laughs> but it's a dragon dildo. This shit is literally Holy fucking fuck. girthy, bro. And um, <laughs> it's like curved and like it's 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 a it's a rendition of a dragon cock. <laughs> I'll show you after. What the? But fuck? these things are insane. Like I cannot even imagine um, the will that it takes. They gotta put it in their ass to 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 get that in you. you know yeah, like, I mean? like how do you even like go down that track of like yeah I want that in my vagina? Okay, I I've seen videos of of people talking about. Um, their process with it. Okay. It's um, got to be real patient. patient. It takes a lot of patience and a lot of lube. Right? Uh huh. But fuck, dude, you got that much time in your day? Do you think they do it like on camera? I'm sure some do. Just because for views? Content creators. I'm sure some do. Um, How much money would it take you to get a dragon dildo up your ass? Drag. I don't think I can be stretched that far. They do it. I will. I'll be torn in two. There's, there's people that do it. You're telling me right now. There's there, people that do it. There's people that do it, but I'm sure they've had years of conditioning. Okay, so let's say that that you have two months of conditioning. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think it's gonna get to. So to there's there. no amount of money that you would even try to get half it in your fucking asshole. Dude, ah. So how big is this thing? Like long it, dude, length, it, length. Lengthwise, it's at least the size of the cup. At least half. So half of this cup in your asshole, bro. I'm telling you, physically, it's not that. <laughs> I, physically, I would not be able to. Physically, would not. So if I bought one and I offered you three hundred grand, you wouldn't even try. Okay, three hundred grand is too low, personally. Really? To get something in your ass for that big? For that big? Three hundred grand. Too low, too low. So you take one day out of your whole week and you say, I'm going to get this fucking dragon shit up my ass. <laughs> I'm going to get this dragon cock in my I, ass. I'm going to be in the hospital for a good two days. You think it would tear? I, I know I would. <laughs> Dog, there are some some we shits. We got prime real estate here. Some shits that I take. <laughs> some tight, shits that I take starfish. tear me. Holy fuck. You know what I'm saying? I take Mondo Dukies, baby. Oh my God. My shit's been brewing all day. I bet you, I bet you it's going to split. Today. Today. And with that, are you ready? I am ready. I have to take a fat old fucking shit. Fat old shit, huh? Fuck yeah. <laughs> it, dude, it's been brewing all day. These restrooms at work are fucking atrocious, man. Oh, man. Something all right. about these dudes at work, man. They don't know how to fucking... Take a normal shit? Take a normal shit. It's like they just shit all over the fucking wall. Um, anyways, guys, episode 131. Love y'all. We'll see you soon. Peace.